can accept what we have because as you saw on the floor, we had a lot of discussions between DHR and DHR assured us that any foster child, they would not allow any foster child to go to an exempt daycare. So that amendment really changed nothing, to be honest with you. It just, they wanted it on there for the wording. I'm not sure what's going to happen when it gets to the Senate, but everything is still in good. I, I'm, I'm, I can deal with it. Is there any concern this is like a door to open up to something else down the road or like, like just a roost to open, like as, as Representative Gavan was saying? Well, I don't think so. <laughs> I think that... From what I'm hearing uh, from my colleagues, they just had pressure from some of their constituents at home and who were concerned that they were foster parents. And I said, if they, if they were foster parents, they knew they couldn't put their kid in the exempt daycare. Mm -hmm. But it's, again, it's the political process. Mm -hmm. Everybody has a right to you know do and say what they want to say. And But I'm still feeling good that we've made it this far. Mm -hmm. 